Hoya. Hi everybody, I am Dr. Jeff Goins and this is another Dwarven Tavern review. This time we are going to beat nothing with those. We are going to talk about the 13th Age games from Pelgrain Press. These are the guys who uh, were uh, involved with the campaign cartographer, if you remember that, uh, that glorious uh, program that's still going on. Uh, this particular book is the 13th Age. It's a D20 book, and uh, it goes for $44.95, and you can find it at uh, Pelgrain Press, pelgrainpress.com, as you can see. And um, it is a role-playing uh, setting and system. Well, not system. It's a D20 system, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really, really awesome. Um, this game is, uh, this book is the, uh, this is the uh, Straight Up Core Rules 13th Age. And uh, they've done some really, really fascinating things. First of all, uh, we'll talk about the artwork. I have two words for the artwork. Phenomenal. And, uh, because, well, you know, it's the dudes from Campaign Cartographer, so it's a no-brainer I mean it's it's uh, the, the 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 maps and such uh, are are great the illustrations are uh, the illustrations are good page 73 this dude here uh, they are uh, they are throughout the book but not overly so I had some uh, some folks leave comments here on page 96 about other games, uh, other game books that uh, there were too many illustrations, and uh, that's that's a ma matter of preference. That's a matter of preference, uh, including the uh, rooster over there in the corner. Uh, that uh, too many illustrations detract from the book. Well, I like the visual. Honestly, uh, I think a lot of people do, and the visual is a very cool thing. So, uh, that being said, I, I think a lot of uh, really cool illustrations are uh, somewhat necessary for, you know, a good, a good visual. Because if you, it, it makes it easier on the imagination if the visuals are visual, such as this dragon on uh, page 113 and so forth. So, full marks for appearance uh, the pages are glossy but the, I've also I've often said you know glossy pages are nice to look at but they give they make eye strain um, and that they're they're prettier but they got eye strain the matte pages are not as not as glorious but they're easy to read I mean you can read it for hours without getting any eye strain or headaches or whatever and you may not suffer from that anyway, but some people do, and it's just a matter of preference. Uh, these pages are kind of a semi-gloss, which is like the best of both worlds. They're they're fancy, but they're also they're also uh, not as glossy and reflective, and like you know, you're not reading like ah, my eyes, and Wilhelm scream and fall over. <laughs> so. Let's move on to organization. How is this book organized? Well, it is organized, of course, in chapters, and it's got uh, chapter one are is the uh, the icons. Uh, then we've got, and I'll explain that when I get there. Uh, chapter two are the character rules, which is only twenty eight pages into it. And remember how many times I've said this: uh, if you have to put in eighty four pages of background before you even get to how to roll up a character you know it's hard to maintain interest it's like if I'm gonna read 84 pages of anything I want it to be a full-blown novel or something right so uh, I like to be able to get into the character creation right away I know there's a lot of people like that some people aren't I'm not other people I'm me so I like to get into the character creation right off the bat so Character rules are 28 pages in, not bad at all. Uh, then you've got chapter three, the races, and chapter four, the classes. Then chapter five is the combat rules. Six is running the game. 
Seven is monsters. Eight is the Dragon Empire. Nine is magic items. Yes, is magic items is correct in that sentence. Uh, Blood and Lightning is chapter 10. And then you have the appendices, which uh, are a blank character sheet, stat arrays, the index and glossary, icons index, and useful charts, which is, they are very useful, as I've gotten to. So full marks for organization. Uh, it all seems very logical. This is kind of a player's handbook and a DMG all rolled into one. Uh, lovely, lovely, 300 and... 20 page tome okay so it's lovely it's very lovely on appearance so um, then we have uh, the next segment which is the originality now you think well another fantasy based d20 game it's it's hard to be original or creative and you would be right it is hard to be original and creative However, this book, this book really nailed it because uh, they've done something here, and I will, I will actually read this part um, about here on page 12. It's the icons. And uh, it says, and I quote, Most D20 games have powerful NPCs who shape the world behind the scenes, such as, uh, you know, Tensor, the floating disc guy, and, uh, you know, Bigby and his hand issues. Um, Sounds like arthritis to me. Well, yeah, very large arthritis. Um, the 13th Age brings them forward, making these 13 powerful NPCs into icons. The PCs will aid or oppose over the course of each campaign, end quote. So you have... a. A, uh, an icon for the alignments, and the alignments are the same as, as a D20, as a D&D &D game. Uh, the, and you've got, uh, and, I'll, and I'll show that here in a second, uh, the Archmage, the Crusader, the Diabolist, or the Diabolist, or the, the Diabolist, or the Diabolist, or the Cheese Sandwich, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, the Dwarf King, the Elf Queen, the Emperor, the Great Gold Worm, the High Druid, dude, I grew some plants out in the back. You're going to love them. I'll show you after I eat these thousand chocolate chip cookies, man. Uh, the Lich King, the Orc Lord, the Priestess, the Prince of Shadows, and the Three. And the Three are three dragons, a green, a blue, and I believe a gold, no, black. The three different dragons who, who work as one. They formed an alliance, and they're three if you know your sign language. Um, That's okay. It's weird. Uh, so each one of these guys are a major NPC that should permeate and uh, pervade the, the various campaigns. Um, and like the, the Elf Queen right there on uh, page 18 and so forth. The High Druid Man. He's totally, like, right there. I swear. I see him. Can't you see him? I see him. <laughs> I'll smoke some of this. You'll see it. And uh, so, and then, you know, of course, the, the Lich King, the Orc Lord, and all that stuff. So they're, uh, they're throughout, uh, which gives it a, a pretty solid uh, a pretty solid base of operations to get through. And then their alignments are right here, right, on page 27. And it shows that, uh, you know, you've got the different icons, like the gold dragon is lawful good, the orc lord is chaotic evil, and so forth. So, uh, that, 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 that's that. Um, so, in our next video, we will be covering the originality. And um, so we did, uh, we did the appearance and the, and the organization and the creativity. Next video, we'll do the originality and playability and talk about some of the other things about it. Again, that is, um, this is called The Thirteenth Age from Pelgrane Press. Uh, and that's www.pelgranepress.com. Right? And uh, don't forget to look us up at Dwarven Tavern, www.dwarventavern.net. And don't forget to subscribe. Give us a like. We love those likes. And look us up on Twitter 
and Facebook and LinkedIn and all of the other places that you can find fine and refined dwarves such as we. And uh, um, we will uh, we'll be there. <laughs> so uh, don't forget to uh, something I forgot. Anyway, on behalf of the whole cast and crew of the Dwarven Tavern, I am Dr. Jeff Goins, wanting you to wish for nothing but adventure. At first I feared it, and then I charged. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.